Hey everybody, it's TV Anderson. I hope everyone's doing well. Guys, it's the first day of October. Can you believe it? But I wanted to talk to you guys about the blended family. I was um just kind of like surfing through YouTube, different channels that I'm subscribed to, and I was checking out the comments. And I, I saw um a comment about the blended family. This is so important um, to to discuss the blended family. We, you know, we heard some of us have come up in the blended family, but in the in these dating streets and the new culture that we have, let me just give you a couple of little tidbits about the blended family. Been there, I have a blended family. Okay, so I'm speaking from experience. No, I'm not a relationship coach, psychiatrist, or anything like that. But I've been through the we, I had a blended family, okay? I came into a, to my marriage with a child already. My husband didn't have any kids. First of all, we want to make sure that we can trust that person around our child, right? Pray about that. And if God shows you a warning sign, back out of the situation. You don't want to put your child in or yourself into a dangerous situation and cause them to experience trauma that is irreparable, Okay? Two, make the child a part of the dating experience, right? Do things together. Go on dates together. Um, Go to the park. Make that child a part of the dating between you and your potential spouse, all right? Establish who's going who's gonna to discipline the child. I would say let the native parent, or in my case, I discipline I physically disciplined my son if necessary or reprimand or whatever. My husband wasn't a part of that. Although he gave instruction, he didn't, you know, the physical discipline was left up to me. If you choose to, however you choose to discipline your child, let the native parent or the parent discipline the child. I think that's so important. Also set up a reward system. Um, it could be words of affirmation. Make sure that that step parent is a part of that positive, um, that positive feedback. Okay, that'll help build trust between the stepchild and step parent. Um, and just be advised, guys, that the blended family is going to go through stages. It's going to go through stages from the childhood to the teenage years, through teenage years, through young adulthood, okay? It's different stages. But the foundation of those stages, the foundation is making the child a part of the relationship from the beginning. It's going to build trust. It'll build respect, which will make it easier when those tough times come. The step-parent will, um, I don't want to say leverage, but they'll have say so um, in what happens to that child as well. Because remember, they're 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 going to be um, contributing financially. Uh, they're helping to protect that child, meals, school, homework, all of that. So it's important to set that foundation so that the step parent will have a part of the child rearing process. And you want to make it you want it to be positive, right? You want that to be a positive experience. You get one shot to raise your child. And you don't want it to be a traumatic experience all because you guys didn't take the time to allow the child to bond and be a part of the dating experience because the child suffered traumatic events. Um, because you two adults didn't iron out things to make the family a blended family. Most importantly, guys, keep God in the middle. Pray about it. Pray about situations as they come up. And keep love and forgiveness. Um, just remember to, that, you know, remember to love each other and forgive and keep moving forward. Um, it can be successful. In my marriage, it has been successful. Did we do everything right? Nope. And that's why I'm giving you guys tidbits. But we came out successively, successfully 
as we learn. So this is just some little tidbits and I hope it helps somebody out there that um, if you're considering getting married, um, if you already have a child or if you're going into a situation, um, you, your potential partner already has children. Y'all stay blessed.